Hello everyone, welcome to some basic tech and today we will talk about how you can resolve if your account is getting disabled whenever you are trying to log in your windows workstation or server. Okay, so uh, you know uh, I will talk about all the steps and uh, things that we need to understand and uh, how we can resolve the issue. Fine. So uh, I just created this uh, AWS instance and uh, I will provide the all the steps here and let's start and see how we can resolve okay so first of all uh, what we need to do let's check the account lockout policy on the windows workstation and then we'll move ahead uh, step by step okay so let me note down something on notepad as well that we can help here so first check account lockout policy you can note down so you can you know, do it in your system after watching this video so first of all I'm going to the run and here we need to type gp edit.msg this is the group policy location where we can identify if the any policy is already shut up or not so once you are here expand a little bit and then go to computer configuration and uh, go to windows settings okay and then go to security settings once you are in security settings click to account policies and then click to account lockout policy here so once you are here you can see account lockout duration account lockout threshold allow administrator account lockout reset account lockout count after so these are not if, if that you know policies are not applicable it means they are not configured and if you are double click you can see here we can configure as a minute and we can set the duration so this is how we can configure but if these are not configured we need to move ahead and verify the other uh, best possible uh, you know a resolution that we can try to fix out our account issue so this is how we can just find out we went in the group policy and see if there are any account lockout policy configured or not okay so first we verified now let's verify next and see so here we can identify review event logs so I'm just typing event logs okay so uh, for reviewing event logs we can just you know go to run again I'm just using shortcut method to visit all the locations otherwise you can use control panel and go anywhere without any uh, moving or in a, using sort steps so here I'm just typing event w -E -V -W -R dot msg so it's an event viewer basically and uh, so fine we are inside the event viewer now and uh, let's maximize this and here we need to go to windows logs and security let's load all the logs it's taking little bit time so uh, uh, let me tell you so you know uh, whenever any user is failing to log in or login but having any error or something like that so we receive 4625 event ID okay so that we can identify and figure out why it is failing to log in 4625 just be remember so 46 we can see here 4625 so we don't have any 4624 4625 you can see so uh, now 4625 I'm just clicking on it and 
going down so keyword is audit failure but now i'm going down verifying the below one checking another one the account was successfully logged in a special privilege assigned to a new login so if i came to the 4625 we can see it is failed to login and in subject it is mentioned security id null account name null so let me try to paste it somewhere and see if we can understand things okay so we got something that we can identify here see so uh, we found account failed to login with this and login type account for which login failed security id administrator so basically we found what is the name of the user is and then failure reason unknown user name or a bad password okay status this id and rest of things are already predefined just like address and this event is generated when login request fails it's it is generated on a computer where access was attempted the subject field indicate that the account on the local system which requested the login this is most commonly a service as the server service or local process such as the which login dot when login dot exe or services dot exe the login type field indicates that the kind of a login that was requested the most common type of to in interactive or network so we found the failure issue is that is user unknown or bad password right so actually this id was generated when i tried to you know login without password to the workstation that's why i you know got this error and then i you know this is the aws instance so i you know generated my password again and then i was try to login and i was login able to login successfully so this is how i was able to figure out and why this is generated so let's talk about the rest of things if you are still not able to login or able to login but it is disabling your account immediately okay now the third option is identify and resolve credential issues it means if your password is expired first thing let me type like in different way here identify and resolve credential issues okay so in this part we can consider that if you are having any password related issue or your password is actually expired or you are trying with a different password on the different user right so these things need to be identified and uh, you can verify via your it administrator if the password is correct or not or you can try login and if you are whenever you are trying to login and you receive the password is incorrect or the password is not correct something like that it means the password is not that you are using on the correct account okay now the next part is check active directory settings if applicable it means if you are using your workstation in domain then you can simply just talk to your administrator whoever is in id team and then discuss about if your account is you know disabled from the back end and you are trying to log in again and again so 
Fourth option is just verify the account if it is disabled from Active Directory. Fifth, if the account is still not is still uh, having challenges, then you can simply do one thing: just verify the number of workstations or servers that are, you are trying to log in and or if you have already logged in on them then try to log out from all the servers and workstations and reset your password then try log in to any workstation that you are using very frequently and verify if you are able to log in or not so remove first log out from all the workstation and server then reset password and try login again this is the fifth option that you can try and till now you should able to login or the last option is sixth if you are having challenge on any specific machine or something that you can do just come to the machine just like I am here and open Windows Explorer like this go to this PC right click go to properties you can go by a different way but I just came to like this once you are here go to advanced settings and then go to user profiles and delete whatever profile is created and you are not able to log in so through this way you can remove the profile from the workstation only it will not remove your profile from entire locations but make sure to copy your data whatever you know saved in your workstation on this profile via different profile it means you can log in via administrator or different account and just copy your data and then try to remove your account and try to log in again so this is how you can try with the very last option and here data risk is you know uh, required so you can just try to log in with this way and uh, till now if you are able to log in then it's fine otherwise you can comment on the video and uh, I will try to fix whatever you know options are required and I will definitely make sure you to fix your issues and do my best so hope you like the video and if if it is helpful then definitely please subscribe the channel and thank you so much have a nice day